Amen. Hey man, we are talking about prayer this week, and today we're going to be talking about the who, what, when, where, and why of prayer. So who? You. That's right, you should be spending some time talking to God. That's all that prayer is. And so if you don't spend any time talking to God, I would encourage you to do that. What is prayer? Well, we actually already talked about that. You can click right up here to follow my video and it will tell you what prayer is and how to do prayer. When should you pray? Pray in the morning when you wake up. That's something that Jesus did. In fact, Jesus thought prayer was really important. So often he would get up early in the morning and he would go off alone. This is before alarm clocks. I don't know how he did it, but he would get up early and he would go pray. And then even throughout the day, Jesus would be caught just praying for somebody or for something. And so uh, in the afternoon and even at night, there would be a good time to pray, and especially at dinner times or whatever. Actually, any time is a great time to pray. And where should we pray? Well, how about you come with me and we'll check it out. Your bed is a great place to start with prayer. In fact, it's one of the best places morning and nighttime to pray so that your first and your last thoughts are to God. Or in the bathroom, or the dinner table, or in the car, on your way to school, or at church, or at school, or you're at the mall. We're out here at an awesome park. You see, it doesn't matter where you pray, you can pray anywhere. It just matters that you pray. And why should you pray? Well, because Jesus cares about you. In fact, 1 Peter 5, 7 says to cast all your worries and anxieties onto Jesus because he cares about you. So he wants to be in your corner and he really understands all the stuff that you're going through. There were times when he would pray because a family member or a friend was sick. There were times when he would pray because work or school was really hard and he didn't know what to do. He prayed when he got bullied because there were people that didn't like what he had to say about life and about just loving and caring about people no matter who they were. Jesus just wants to know about your life and about your struggles and he can relate to every single one of the things that you're struggling with. So that's why we pray. We pray to God so that we can understand a little bit more about ourselves, understand a little bit more about him, and we want him to be involved in our lives. So you can pray anywhere that you want to pray. So who should pray? You should pray. What should you pray? About your life and about the stuff that's going on. When? Anytime. Now probably would be good. Where? <laughs> anywhere. Uh, God has this whole big world for us to go out and experience things and he wants to know about those experiences. And that's why we pray because he wants to know about your life. He wants to know about my life. And so I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and make sure that you're getting out there and taking some time to pray to God because he cares about you and about the things that go on in your life. And he wants to take some of those burdens off of you, some of those things, some of those anxieties, some of those worries away from you. So how about in the comments below, you guys leave me some places and some things that you pray about and I'll comment on them. I bet you guys have some really awesome places and some things to pray about. Also, make sure you subscribe to our videos right here. Uh, that way you can stay in the loop with all the stuff that we do. And make sure to click right there if you want to watch any of our other stuff that we have going on. We post on Sundays and on Wednesdays. So make sure to check out Bible Made Elementary. Thanks for checking us out today. And give me a high five on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Whoosh.